Okay, and we're back, and here we are on an LED virtual background. Could you uh, tell me a little bit about your company and what do you guys do? Hi, um, my name is Tsuyoshi Mitera. I work nice for I, I work for um, Disguise Japan. Disguise is a British company who does uh, um, various solutions for um, live events and also uh, virtual production. And uh, currently, we are like. We are developing an application called the Disguise um, XRVP solution, where we can do um, LED virtual production relatively easy using our products with a combination of um, uh, Stipe Red Spy and uh, LEDs. Uh, this is a uh, ROE visual uh, LEDs, um, LEDs, and then with a LED processor, which is over there. So yeah, great. And I see you guys have a little bit of a, you're compatible with Unreal Engine, which is super helpful in the production world. Can you tell me a little bit about how that makes it easier for us to use, or how is this easier for Unreal to uh, process on? Right, um, Unreal contents are generally um, driven by our media server called the RX or RX2 series. And you just have to install the um, Unreal editor on the RX server, and then when you open the project, or the, before you open the project, you have to actually like make a uh, put the plugin of uh, this guy's plugin for the Unreal content. Mm -hmm. And then once you launch this guy's software, and then you execute it from this guy's software, Unreal will like pop it up from the RX2 server, and then you can do uh, all sorts of various uh, virtual production scenes uh, with it. Oh wow, beautiful. That sounds amazing. You guys are doing a lot, right? Yeah, we do um we we do a lot of uh budget production all over the world, uh, in the States, in Korea, in Japan too. Uh there are some big uh content production going on. Great, wow. All right, well uh I was wondering if you could give us a, maybe a little tour around uh some of your product and maybe show us what you guys are doing and everything. Right. Yeah, okay? sure. All right, great. Okay, great. And uh, could you possibly tell us what we are looking at right here? Right. Um, so what you are looking at is a little bit complicated system, right. but the, with a camera and a camera tracking over there, there is uh, over there, and then coming into our media server over there. I see. Okay. And then the signal chain go through to um, um, via network, mm -hmm. and then the. Um, Basically, RX2 is a, the one on the bottom, mm -hmm. is um, executing the Unreal Engine, and then sends the uh, video signal back to the VX2 server uh -huh. over there, and then showing the contents on our GUI, and then finally to output to the LED panel, LED processor there, and then LEDs. I see. Wow, it's like a, a huge math problem. <laughs> that was beautiful, though. Wow, what a system. Yep. Looks great. Cool. So, Could you possibly do a little bit of uh, uh, right. showing for us All on right. this? So you can see over there. That's our um, camera input. Right, where we were just on. I right? mean, output, and I think this is already being composited. Mm -hmm. But if you say, let's say, um, we stop it. Oh. That's Unreal Engine just stop. Yep. Unreal Engine's GUI is just there, over there. And then if you start it, you can see the Unreal Engine. Uh -huh. But it's it's not actually showing the GUI. It would just uh, run behind behind the machine. I so, see. Yeah. Wow. So right now it's wow. back to the. Yep. Our so, desert. Yeah. Our in desert. the desert. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. This is great. What a what a technology you guys have right here. Uh, great. Yeah. So. That was wonderful. Thank you for the interview and thank you for your time. Thank uh, you. We hope to use your product. I'm pretty sure we're going to be using it more in the future as well. Uh, yeah, thank pleasure you. and thank you very thank much. You. All right, and we're back. Uh, thank you for joining us. Please let us know your name and what do you do and why are you here? Okay. Hi, my name is Saka Najjar. I'm working for Zero Density. Uh, we are the uh, first company who adopt uh, the on a Unreal Engine based, I mean, it's a gaming engine based solution for virtual production and AR and stuff in the industry back in 2016. Uh, and we are here together with our partners, uh, NAC and ASK, uh, presenting our solutions. Uh, we have basically 
two products here, and we can be or three products, let's say, uh, with the Reality Engine and Reality Hub Control Suite, and the award-winning product of uh, NAB this year. This is the Talent Test device, which is actually an artificial intelligence-based uh, talent tracking system working on any environment. And we are actually showing our uh, products capabilities real time here, so you can see. Uh, our talent is just uh, standing over there, working and you know, walking around, and we uh, show our uh, let's say visitors the uh, real-time composition at the same time. So you can just see that the interaction of the AR objects and the presenter over there. Uh, you can everything is going on uh, live uh, without any delay, let's say. And if you just can see the interface here. Uh, it is uh, actually uh, being managed from the Reality Hub interface, which is the core point of the system, making all the control and, uh, let's say, connectivity to the third parties, etc. And the engine is the uh, real compositor is based on Unreal, as I was mentioning before. Uh, so here, that's all in general. Wonderful. Wow. Thank you for your time. It sounds like you guys are doing a lot right now. We hope for the best. And uh, yeah, good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.